What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your iPad as a second or even a third monitor for your Windows computer or laptop. This is completely free, it's wireless, and it's super easy to do, so let's jump straight into the video. Now before we get started, I just want to quickly say that I'm using and loving this iPad mount called the X-Arm by X-Layout. Now this mount comes in amazing packaging, it has super high build quality, and lets you place and adjust your iPad in any position, which is perfect for using it as a monitor. I'll put a link in the description below where you can save 10% off if you'd like to get one of these for yourself. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is on your computer, go over to Google and then search for Space Desk, Space Desk, and then go ahead and click on the first link here, spacedesk.net, multi-monitor app. And you're just gonna wanna download and install this app on your computer, so just click on this green download button and select the version of Windows that you have. I have Windows 11 64-bit, so I'm gonna click on this first one and save this file on your computer. I already have it, so I'm gonna click yes. And you can see it's already done downloading. It's only four megabytes, so it only takes a second. Once it's done, just click on it and open up the executable. And just follow the steps for installation. Click next, accept the license agreement. Next, select the folder you want to install this program in. Next. I'd recommend adding an exception to your firewall, so just leave that checked and click next. And hit install. So then once you are done, click on finish. So now that you have this installed, you can go ahead and open up the Space Desk console. So you can just go over to your search panel and search for Space Desk. And you'll see Space Desk Driver Console. Click on that. And here you'll see the settings for the software. The main thing you need to know is there's this toggle button to turn it on and off right here. And that will just make your computer visible to your iPad. Um, the only other thing I would look for is automatic start at system boot. So if you want to have this automatically load up and turn itself on every time you turn your computer on, uh, make sure you have this automatic start button clicked. Um, if you don't want it to have on and you want to turn it on manually like I have just done, leave this off. So once you have that, you can close out of this and head over to your iPad. Now on your iPad, you will need to download and install an app called Space Desk. So head over to your app store and search for Space Desk. And just go ahead and download and install the one with the green iPad Space Desk multi-monitor app. Once you have that installed, just go ahead and open it on up. And if you have everything set up correctly on your Windows computer, you will see your IP address and your connection right here in the app. All you have to do is click on that app and it will open up and use your iPad as a monitor for Windows. Now with this app, you can also use the touch screen of the iPad as essentially a mouse. So you can click the screen and touch and open apps and do different things just by touching the screen of the iPad, which is a really cool feature as well. So to change the settings and make things a little bit faster if you need, go down to the settings button here and click on settings. Here you can change your default uh, resolution. A lower resolution will generally mean things will be a lot quicker because it doesn't have as many pixels to load. And you can also click on quality slash performance. So this is the main tab that you will use to either reduce the quality and make things a bit faster or increase the quality and have a little bit more lag when you are moving things around and opening things up. So on this tab, you'll see quality slash performance. You can drag this bar into lower or higher quality. Obviously with higher quality, it's going to be a little bit slower to respond. I like to keep mine generally around the middle, maybe a little bit lower than the middle setting here. For color depth, you can choose low color quality, which is very fast, or high color quality, which is very slow. I personally like the high resolution and don't mind, at least for what I'm doing, if things are a little bit slow. So I keep mine on high color quality, but if you do need a quicker input, uh, feel free to put this down into medium or even a low color quality. And generally, I like to use 60 FPS just to make things as fast as possible. So once you have that done, make sure you click save in the top left, and then you can boot back up into your Windows as a monitor. And that's pretty much it. Once again, I will put a discounted link in the description below if you'd like to pick yourself up one of these iPad XR mounts and subscribe for more videos. Peace.